Well, good morning. Grace and peace to you from God, the Creator, Jesus, the one who heals, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In a land between regions, between somewhere and nowhere, Jesus walked on his way to Jerusalem for whatever reason. There were other roads, many other roads, but Jesus was on this one, the one meant for those who didn't really belong. Along the way, a band of lepers stood off in the distance, and Jesus hears shouting, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Now, tradition stated that the lepers would have to shout, unclean, unclean, to announce their ailment. So for Jesus, they had to shout at him to keep their distance. They were sent there not by a doctor, but by a priest, as tradition demanded. And in order to regain societal footing, they would also have to be cleared by the priest. Now, there were 10 of them. And one of them was a Samaritan. The rest of the lepers were Jews. Samaritans and Jews have a long history because long ago in a time of King Solomon, Israel split into two. The northern half of the kingdom was Israel and the southern half Judea. Now Samaria was the capital of Israel and Jerusalem was the capital of Judea. There's more to the history, but at the end of the day, the Jews and the Samaritans did not get along very well. In fact, they're historic enemies. Neither liked the other, and both would rather stay on the other side of the road or stay away from each other as much as possible. So this was a mutual dislike. But in the middle of nowhere, on the way to somewhere, there were 10 people all with the same disease and all with the same scenario. They were not allowed back until they were cured of their disease. I'm sure just like we have had to deal with quarantining from COVID that they were annoyed and anxious and worried about their families that they have left behind. They wanted to return to society and did not want to keep living in this in-between time. So some of us have been here before. You're stuck and you cannot move forward or backward. You're not a prisoner really, but you're also without a community. And there are many reasons why you find yourself in this place. But these days, in a very real sense, COVID has created that in-between place where between somewhere and nowhere and waiting. You're waiting for the rules to change or the stores to open back up or permission to travel again or waiting for a negative test. We have been in this land of waiting a lot in the last two years. And while things are different than even a few months ago, there are still interruptions to the flow of our lives and we are aware that our lives can detour at any time and put us in that land of in-between. There are other reasons that we might find ourselves in the land of in-between or the land between somewhere and nowhere. Perhaps we have found ourselves here because we are waiting on a medical diagnosis and there isn't anything you can do except hold your breath and wait. Or the opposite happens. There isn't a diagnosis and you spin your wheels moving between doctors and specialists and all they have for you is, I don't know. Or maybe you found yourself here because you were lost in your life and felt far away from God. Or maybe someone died and you just couldn't move. And suddenly, by no fault of your own, you felt yourself out of society and plunged into a world where it felt like nobody could understand your grief. There are a lot of reasons you might find yourself in the land of in-between. 
Sometimes the place between somewhere and nowhere is a fearful place, and other times it is a place to grow and a place to seek and a place to accept that you will just need to wait. It can be a place of acceptance or pacing back and forth, and it can also be a place to heal. But in this place where the world stops, can we use the time and find the strength to give thanks to God? I'm sure there are a lot of different prayers going up to God in the land of in-between. But how often do we say, God, how would you like for me to use this time of interruption in my life? How many times do we think to say that in the last two years? Jesus, Master, have mercy on us, cry the lepers. They want to return to a land of somewhere where they are someone. Nine of them can do that, but one will remain an outsider even if his physical self is healed. And so in the land of in-between, one doesn't rush off to go somewhere. One stops and turns back and praises God for healing. One takes a moment and puts himself into a posture of humbleness and gives thanks to God. The other nine, well, they scurried off to the one in authority who could release them from their lives of living in between. Being in the land between somewhere and nowhere happens often in life. We look for a way to get out of it as soon as possible because it's unfamiliar and it's unsettling. How can we pause when we are there and, and take a moment out of our searching and hurry to, out just to say thank you to the one that has actually been by your side the entire time? Thank you to Jesus, the one who is looking for you in that space of in-between, somewhere and nowhere. Life throws us into the midst of society and out of society at unexpected times. Life throws us into in-between times and into a land between somewhere and nowhere when we least expect it. And in all those places, we are still to give thanks to God, just because. This person who gave thanks was healed twice. He was healed from his disease and he was then made well. But when he gave thanks to God, he was saved and set free from whatever Jesus added in. We have all been the tenth leper, and we have all been the other nine. So let us spend time this week really being grateful and saying to God, thank you for all the things. Thank you for the bunnies and the family and our homes and our friends. Thank you for this beautiful place we live in and how the sunlight sparkles on the water. And did you see that harvest moon this morning? Thank you for the light that's in the sanctuary and for each and every one of you and for everyone who gives and time and, and talents and treasures. And thank you for just getting to be here today. Because today, you're somewhere, but you've all been in the land of in-between, not too long ago. And sometimes it's in those unsettling times when you can truly look back and appreciate the life that you have lived when you were in land is somewhere. Jesus walks the roads between somewhere and nowhere, and when you see him turn and give thanks for even on the road of in-between, you are not alone. You are with the one who saves. So in Jesus' name, we give thanks. We give thanks for all these things that make us feel like we're in the land of somewhere and feel like someone. We give thanks for all those things, and we give thanks for Jesus' life and death and resurrection. 
because it was all for you. So help us, Lord, today to be mindful of those that are needing a way to enter society for whatever reason. May we be Jesus to them and land a hand or a shoulder or a pathway home. And in the meantime, let us be mindful of all the reasons to give thanks to God. In Jesus' name, we give you thanks and praise. Amen.